Hackleberry's here. He wants to do a clutch fan delete <sighs> on his sled. We're moving soon, so I'm just getting rid of a little bunk bed ladder and some trash. Oh so, yeah, let's see the Crackleberry. There's the ship box. Is that ladder so we can get in the hood of my truck? Because I'm so Hey, high. did you see my house yet? You see the house I'm buying? Yeah. <laughs> I think I'm the one selling it. Oh. It just sucks I don't got no wheels. Working on ramps today. A heezy kick. Oh, that's what we're calling it today? Crack All right, so what, what? Wait a minute. What is that? <laughs> what is this? The engine cover. No, you don't put an umbrella over a fire. That needs to go. That's retaining way too much heat. Why, why is that still there, bro? Well, my IATs are like 87. I'm good. They'll be lower. That's coming off. You have plastic up a plenum. That, that's that's, that's I want to paint it like everybody in the group. No. It looks good, but it, you don't put an umbrella over a fire, do you? No. No, you don't. That's stupid. It's got to go. Got to go. What are we doing today? V6 fan. V6 fan. 160T stack. Fourth gen V6 fan. It's going to eliminate this ugly ass shroud, which is probably going to break in half because I'll get angry at it. Please. Break it out. So you want to save it? No. You want to sell it on fourth gen? I'm selling. Tell Zach. Zach, Zach Scott gets ten percent everything you sell, right? I'm gonna sell uh, on tomb rims. <laughs> I'm gonna say hi to Billy Bolt too, but he's a good guy. What's up, Billy? Zach, what's going on? Oh, we gotta unbolt the catch can that I owe you. Oh yeah, you. Who makes that catch can? Do a little uh, improv catch can commercial. This right here is a beautiful Mishimoto catch can. Catches all your unnecessary oil. And blow by. Call now. <laughs> <laughs> Buy one, get the second one for free. Yeah, I wish. All right. What's all this wires here, kid? <laughs> what are these? My rock lights. Rock lights. Yeah, we're taking those off too. No, all right. Joey Bellagio likes rock lights. I love my rock lights. They don't change colors like everybody else's. All right, we're doing a we're doing a clutch fan delete. Clutch you got a new belt. New, oh yeah, yeah we're, we're doing, doing a serpentine, thermostat, right? We're doing a serpentine belt. Would you get a 160 Melodin? Yes. Yeah! Your recommendation, my Number friend. Number 16405, I believe, right? I don't know the part I think it's one. Sure. We're going to pull it out. We'll make double check that. Stop! <laughs> K&N filter. Do not touch that filter. We'll kill you. Yeah. Capiche? I'll kill somebody. All right, we're going to let this cool down. Start taking it apart. You got one bolt. So, what's the auto zone? Yeah. Rims, baby. Oh. oh, is this a OEM or a Rock Auto? Rock Auto? Yeah. Is this a Rock Auto fan? How much you pay? Uh, I don't even remember. You don't even. How are we gonna inform people if you don't remember what you got or what you paid? Because I'm pretty sure everybody in the group is the one that told me to buy it. This, so they already know the All price. Right, so everybody knows that's Rock Auto. What was the part number you said? Don't ask, because I'll delete it. What's up? What's the, what was the 16405? Boom, 16405, baby. I love that thermostat. I get asked about a hundred times a day, you know? <laughs> Fickack. Fickack? How do you say his last name? I don't know how to say his last name. Fick, I say Fickack. So. I, I, We're up in Boston, so we say Fickack. But shout out to Matt Fickack. We, uh, this is my buy I used last year. <laughs> I originally went in the center, which does not work. You gotta hug a side. Yeah, so because when it lines up, I'll show you. When this is the up, new it one. The hub. It's a little loose, but I'll do the job. I think I should tighten that. It's tight as it can be. If it's tight as it, oh, you got a sleeve. Yeah. We'll see if we'll see what happens. All right, let's do this. I sat on it. Well, you brought your little homo to, homo homo tools. I brought my laptop so I can load. Oh, you the a tool. tuner now? You better than who's the best tuner? Bruno Jay. Reese. No, Jay. Yeah, <laughs> Jay, Jay is the best tuner. Shh. <laughs> I don't want to, he, uh, if I see one reply about that, listen, that's my opinion, suck it. Seriously, why would I say Jay Green's the best tuna? Why would I ever say that? No idea. Oh, just to let you guys know, today's video is brought to you by the letter A. Ah. For racing? Yeah. Ah. R? I get ragged on every time I make a video. Because of R? Because I'm Southern folk go R. They, they <laughs> over enunciate the letter A. Ah. So today, today's we're, we're gonna over enunciate the Boston ah. <laughs> the ah. Yeah, no parking here the corner. All right, first thing first, taking the upper radiator, hose clamp off. 
Does it fucking break? Get a hammer and smash it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think the bolt, the new bolt that came with the mission motor catch can. These kids make me get tools for them, yelling at me. I'd rather be at Rogie's garage. Who throws tools? Dude! What? Oh my god, I found one! Who doesn't lose a 10 mil? I've, yeah. I've been missing this for so long, dude. 10 millimeters. Sweet. This is already out. You gotta take a catch can off. Wait till you see the clips that are on the bottom of the shroud. You gotta crawl under and take off. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's clip. There's a clip in the top, clip at the bottom. You gotta take off. I gotta grab a tool out of my van. Oh, this dude's over here doing push ups. Nice. Yeah, get some. Stay in shape. Dude, there's some guy out there doing push ups and sit ups on the curb. Oh. I don't know, some dude. Better shape than we are in. Yeah, that heat shield's gotta go. <laughs> I'm gonna paint it and hang That's it on the wall. That's the first thing you do when you buy a rim. That heat shield goes right in the trash. Or you can sell it at Marketplace for 10 bucks so someone can buy it and paint it and put it back on. <laughs> Who doesn't have racing in mind? Or efficiency for that matter. I didn't know. Vintage coming off. I didn't know that it, uh, it was that bad. Don't you want to get the lower diesel box too? I have it. I should have brought it so we could have did that. Something. You don't. You have it? I have it. Oh, I took it off the junkyard. Oh. Goodbye, heat shield. Just throw it. Do it. How bad do you think my box looks? That's pretty clean. Yeah, it is. K and M, baby. Oop, is that a stick or a worm? All right, heat shield's off. But seriously. All your heat that's coming up from the engine now can escape and go out this very, very semi-functional cowl. There's grooves there. These grooves right here. I know if this is a full functioning cowl, it would be up to the top of the cowl. Right there. And that would all be open, but there's grooves. It is slightly functional. Heat will go out when you're driving and go that way. Want to see something nasty? Look at that. Look at yeah, this. engine is free. What's that? Look at that. Catch game. Oh, it's a catch can. Yeah. That's gross. Yeah, it is. Why is it light brown? No idea. That's not good. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I don't know. But yeah, this engine's now free. That should go in the trash. Free at last. Free at last. Ah, thank God. Let's my, do, a, let's do a giveaway. Last. All right, top clips off. I uh, see the underneath of my engine right now. Why? Oh. Uh, um, well, you know how it took two years Bruno's to Bruno's now taking the... Excuse me! <laughs> Excuse me, we're doing a video. Hold on, what is it, babe? He's taking the bottom clip off. What are you yeah. showing me? There's five clips you gotta undo. Yeah. To remove the shroud from the lower shroud. It's actually a, it's a two-piece shroud, right? It looks one to me. Uh, it's, I think it's two pieces. I'm gonna plug the fan. I'm gonna take this bolt out. There's another bolt on the other side I'm gonna take out. I'm gonna magically... And mysteriously try to get the shroud out of here. I've broken two of these out of strict anger. <laughs> Seriously, I don't have time, I don't have patience. I just muscled it and destroyed it. But you can take your time and do it right. I mean, I'm not gonna use them again. So I'm no, I mean, you can try to keep this and sell it. <laughs> you can try. Right. It's gonna break. If you're like me, it's gonna break. If you're patient, it might not break. Oh no, it's already breaking. We're definitely recording you taking that out. <laughs> it's brittle, they're brittle, aren't they? Fucking piece of shit. I told you, dude, now get mad and just hit. No, don't break anything. You don't want to poke your radiator. Yeah, I don't want to do that. Dude, I've gone through two of them, they suck. <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to comment and go, I got mine off in one piece, dude. <laughs> Took me an hour and a half, but I got it off. I already broke it. I already you broke you it. angry yet? Oh, yeah, that thing's already pissing me off. I feel like Matt. After watching his videos. Now what we're gonna do here, Matt could catch so polite when he makes videos. Yeah. What we're gonna do here is pull this up here. And we're gonna put this over here. It's so soft spoken in his video and yeah. he didn't struggle like this. No, he was like he's like I've done it 35 times. Alrighty. Fan. Pin in the ass. Clockwise. It's funny because the 2020s don't come with these fans no more. We got it, baby. Yeah, it's a little. We got it. That little tiny tap, baby. 
See, last time, my last video went counterclockwise for like an hour. I'm like, this thing ain't moving! <laughs> and I was tightening the bolt the whole time. Now, it's, it's clockwise. Hit it clockwise. Comes right off. Two seconds. Spin it. Two seconds, kid. We are ready for this. We are ready, Ken. Every time we say something that says R in a Boston accent, y'all should take a shot. <laughs> <laughs> are you serious? Wicked smart, kid. You can get one of these for like $15 at Harbor Freight. Yeah, and they say Harbor Freight got cheap tools. Pittsburgh, but... baby. This is heavy duty, too. It is. I think it's broken. No, it's good. <laughs> this has done quite a few... Quite a few clutch fans. Yeah, now it's got a new bolt so it can do a few more. Some people have done it without that tool. Some people use an air wrench. Whatever works, works. You see it? I can see now. When you get it loose enough, you can just spin the fan and the nut will turn. Takes a while. It's coming off though. Come on, baby. Come on. Bye bye drag. Oh yeah. Well, you don't. Like... Later. <laughs> it's not complete drag all the time. It's just initial drag. It helps. It helps a little bit. Here we go, baby. Now we can take the shot out. That's it, baby. Anybody want to buy a fan? Pile of excuses. All right, now the shroud comes off. Much easier. It's been a while. We were trying to do it with the fan on. That was dumb. Yeah, it was. Oop, gentle. <laughs> Don't ruin your fan. Oh, it sucks, doesn't it? It's, it's Bermuda Triangle. I hate the stupid thing. Smash it. Just smash it! That goes into the pile of excuses! Wow. Look at all that room. Some people do leave their stock OEM fan on. That's not designed to work like the new V6 does. The V6 fan is designed to stay on longer. The V6 fan's and bigger the, than and this. And the fans are a shape a little different. And this is why people go to the OEM V6 fan. We're gonna do it the flat. And it has its own, this doesn't have a shroud at all. The new fan has a little baby shroud. Yes. Which also direct air a lot better than having no shroud. That's the whole point of a shroud, to direct air while you're driving to the engine to cool it off. Take your stupid heat cover off, and the heat goes out the cowl. <laughs> we got the top clip off. Holds the OEM fan to the radio. Oh, yeah, Bruno's. I see it. You see it? I see it. Do you see it? Bruno's down there taking the little one off. Save them. You can reuse them. It's better too. Some people don't, but yeah, you want to save those, put them back on. We don't need jack stands. What do you have? A uh, six inch left? Four. Four inch left. If you're going up, oh, jacking no up, use jack stands, please. Use <laughs> jack stands. Yeah, America's saggy right now. What's going on over here? Saggy. Jimmy Perkins is in here working out. Hashtag undisclosed location. Here you go. America's back up. Just proud again. Pile of excuses. Pile of cool ones. You might make a couple hundred bucks here. Yeah? OEM fan. Half of a shroud. Needs needs work. Stock fan. Heat cover. Pile of excuses. See the fin difference? Big difference. This one's obviously a lot bigger than that one. So it's gonna be way more efficient and more functional. And it's got its own shroud. Has its own shroud. This is from Rock Auto. Just a replica of the OEM fan that you'll spend it got a warranty too. That Dodge. I don't know how long the warranty is, but. Yeah, so does an AutoZone. AutoZone needs to AutoZone, AutoZone's a joke. AutoZone's not bad. Yes it is. I worked there, used to, a long time ago. Don't tell too many people that. I was the janitor. <laughs> the janitor. I was the janitor. <laughs> uh, I replaced the uh, thermostat. Here's a stock, was it a 198 thermostat in these things? Or a 203, whatever the hell it is? I don't know, but my time's touch like tools. So we're going to take the right? cover off. Make sure your engine is cool. I'm not even going to say warm. I'm going to say cool. Yeah, we're going to want to I mean, it's... So no pressure builds up. You want to yeah. take that cover off right there. We're going to drain the bottom lower cock. Hey, you don't mind if I touch a cock real quick right there, do you? No, you can touch it. All right. It's okay. I'll be gentle. First time, first time. <laughs> just a tip. <laughs> All right, we're going to drain it just down, you know, right around here. Get rid of the water right here. It's going to spill a little bit, but this is honestly a five-minute replacement. Getting that uh, 
Thermostat in, thermostat in there, the 16405 Melodin 160, baby. Oh, Melodin's probably the... No one's ever had complaints with Melodin. I've had two thermostats shut out on me. A stant. I think they were both stants. I'm sorry, Mishimoto, I didn't use yours. Uh, we'll, we'll cut that one out. Yeah. Get the homo bucket, uh, the homer bucket, not the homo bucket. The Catch the uh, radiator fluid, we're gonna keep it and put it back in. That bucket is clean. Because somebody forgot the radiator fluid. Yeah, somebody did. Hmm. Just water. Where's the cock right here? Yeah. What's it up there? Make sure you're gentle with that cock. It is plastic. You don't want to break it. Yeah, it is. Babe, can you get referral fees? No, oh, she doesn't give me any fees. That's why I stopped talking about. <laughs> Your cock has low flow. Off. Hoses off. Dump the extra into the bucket there. Sometimes these can be tough because you, know, you get an old truck a little rusty. She ain't that old. Slide it back a little bit. Now this could be the tough part because this is a steel housing and the paint likes the. Oh, look at you. I can wear it off. Super smooth. Nice. Beautiful. Super Beautiful. smooth. Beautiful. That's the upper radiator hose we're keeping. We're gonna put it back on. Look at this. Yeah, that's the paint that comes off the housing. It likes to stick to the. Yeah. I'm surprised it came off that easy, to tell you the truth. Yeah. My 2015. I didn't think it was gonna come stuck up. Stuck on pretty well. I was gonna get a new housing, but the pro charger ones are aluminum. And they put nice dog leg on it. Pain in the ass when you got the bracket on. Everyone knows who has a pro charger. Once that bracket's on, you gotta take the bracket off to replace the thermostat. Pain. Where's the bracket? In the ass. The width. The bracket goes right there. Big aluminum bracket. That holds the blower. Right, there's the housing. Let's look inside just to check it. Yeah. That's what happens when you got a steel painted yeah. housing. All the paint likes to deteriorate. And Matt, sponsor me with a new uh, housing. Gets into the coolant system. Oh, that sucks. We'll clean that up. 203 degrees. That's what the stocks are. 203 degrees. This is going bye bye. This can go in the pile of uh, excuses. Let's see it. Is it in good condition? It's yeah, right. That's fine. Gasket's super clean. Beautiful. Looks brand new. Now, here's the size difference between the 203 stock OEM thermostat and the Malone 16405. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. Nice. Hmm. Very nice. Very. So, what is this one? The stock one? A 203? It says on it? 203, yeah. Yeah. 203. Let me see that for a second. There should be, an, I think there's an arrow on these that point up. I don't see one. Well, that's the bottom. Yeah, I know, but I don't, usually there's a weep hole on some of them that go up. This, yeah, see that? That's an arrow. That indent is an arrow that should shoot north when you go to put it on, make sure it's pointed up at the highest point. It's right there. So it's gotta be up on this side. Yeah. All right. Sometimes they have little, like a little hole with a little ringer on it. But yeah, just make sure that's pointed up when you put it in. Just put this one on. It's facing up. Little marker is up and we're good. We'll put the housing back on. I'm gonna clean this up for us. That's nasty. She's on. That's dirty. Dirty girl. Two fingers or one? Three, always three. I don't think I can fit three in there. No. It's too tight. That's way cleaner. We clean the surface off. The surface is nice and clean. Matt. Let's throw it in. Send me a housing. Oh, it's rusty. I promote. Right. Housing's on, cleaned, new thermostat, Malone, 164405. We're gonna do the belt now. Mr. Bruno wants to do his belt over, so we're gonna remove the belt. Tied of that fucking squeak at a wide open throttle. Yeah, if you got a bad memory, take a picture of your routing because they're not on these trucks. Some of them, I think some of them have them, but a lot of these trucks don't. All right, good. There you go, baby. Very simple. She needed it anyway. Three Look eights, how she looks. ratchet, boom. This is a two minute. Oh, once you have everything out, it's easy. The fans off, the shrouds off. <laughs> Very simple. It becomes Pile simple. of excuses. Now, here's my question. Hmm. What the fuck did I do with the belt? It's outside in the box. Oh, no, it's right here. Oh, and the pull. Oh. 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 Yeah, Portuguese.
Josh Vera, shout out to Josh, you V kid. So that's we're thing. replacing that too? Yeah. Oh, let me see that. <clears throat> Apparently, we're replacing this uh, idol of pulley as well. Let's go in there. What else you want to do? Are we doing an engine rebuild at the same time? What's going on here, kid? Where's your old blower? Let's throw it in here. That's old. <laughs> Jesse Loomis. Jesse Loomis got my uh, my Pro Charger DS1. Yeah, uh, it's worn down. Yeah, these make noises sometimes. I think that's where my squeak comes from when I open throttle. Yeah, you got a lift there too, so yeah, yeah that's good. You that. What's it? Twenty five bucks. Oh, listen, I got a friend that works at O'Reilly's. I got the belt. The belt is forty five dollars. Five figure discount. Went for a ride. Thirty seven dollars total for the belt and the pulley. Not bad. Where's your belt? Right there. You get the green back, right? Yeah. Green. Gates. Gates. Just so you guys want to know, you know, fleet runner. But here's the number for the uh, stock size belt. Heavy duty. If it doesn't fit, I'll change my video. But there you go. Gates is good. Yeah, Gates. Gates is good. Good belts. New Isla pulley is on. We're going to throw, slap the new Gates green back on at the proper routing. And we're gonna throw everything back together. The clutch fan delete will almost be complete. I don't know why I hate to shout out to John O'Malley. John O'Malley, Boosted Motorsports, what's up, brother? I just watched this video. Yeah, we were just talking about you. Good things, good things, right? The thermostat with the Viper. Yeah, good things. Thank God this isn't the Dodge Viper. <laughs> All right, new Gates belt, green back is on, baby. You know that green matches my If you ever accents. wonder what the routing is, there's your routing. Did it by memory. Yes, I did. It's only been about 30 times. <laughs> All right, let's put the uh, new fan in. All right. New V6 fans dropping in. Nice, nice execution. A nice green belt. Yeah, you're good. Uh, make sure you're hooked in the bottom. Yeah, I am. That's what you make sure. Okay. Good. If you are, you're good. You're good, Diane. 13 millimeter bolts. We'll plug it in. Fill it back up. Put the intake back on without the heat shield. Yeah, yeah, you gotta pop that little thingy off. I got, I got a pair of dikes. You know any dikes? <laughs> I, got, I got some dikes. <laughs> I can only imagine what my face just looked like when you said I got a pair of dikes. I got some dikes. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> You're like, I know some dikes. <laughs> yeah. Snip those off. You should wear safety glasses. All right. I'll show you in here. Beautiful. Hear that little click? That's the Mopar click. Not the Mopar tick. The Mopar click. And that's when you know what plug is. Plug in. Oh, hey, it's ticking. Is it manifold? Should I do long tubes or short tubes? <laughs> so I got the Hemi tick and I want to do a cam and headers. Yeah, what should because, I do? Because of this exhaust leak. All right, new V6 fan is in from our friendly folks. Hold on, question. Rock Auto. This lips over the. That clip. Where's your clip? It's in my pocket. That clip goes there, just to let you know. Pocket to Ah. Okay. okay. Faro Portuguese? Faro. 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 Un poco o mucho? Mucho. Faro. Mucho. Ha <laughs> Bon trabajo, amigo. <laughs> bon trabajo. We're Portuguese, buddy. Josh Barrett can understand that. Oh. All right, so fan is in. Belt is in. Thermostat housing up and clean. New thermostat 16405. A Oh, you wonder what this is. This is not weed. This is nicotine. Did you hear that? Vaping can kill you? No, nicotine actually prevents you from getting the coronavirus. I heard. I am not kidding you. You Google it. Google it! This is why I'm, I've been healthy for the past two years. I haven't got sick in two years. Started vaping. Nicotine. Unbelievable. So the hose is in. Put the clamp back on. And uh, we're good to go. We're going to throw some radiator fluid in. And then tuner. Start her up. Nope. Throw the tune on. Oh. I gotta put Jay's tune. Oh, we're gonna do a tune first. We gotta put the tune in. Jay's tune. Are you HP tuners? No, Diablo. Diablo. Why did you bring a laptop? You plug it in? Yeah, so I can plug it into my thing. Oh, you're a genius. I, I downloaded it to the computer. I haven't chance to put it into my... Uh... Ah, all right. So you, you got it on your computer. You brought your computer. You're gonna upload it through your computer back to the handheld. 
Yeah. Then gonna, download it. I'm going to pretend that I'm a tuner. I got you. Go all that room. Look at all that room. You can work in here now. Look at this. Oh, I got to replace my idol pulley. You can do it just fine right now, brother. Plenty of room. It's already done, though. Yes, it is. New idol pulley as well. Umbrella. The heat umbrella is off the engine. Mm-hmm. Intake's back on. Good day today. I should have brought. It's sunny out. Should have brought my eco diesel box. We could have did that. Yeah, too. we could have done the eco diesel box. The only thing that sucks about the e removing the lower box, you got to remove the inner fender, and there's two screws underneath. You got to remove two little screw bolts. I think that's what's. I don't put them back. I always, I always uh, leave them out because it doesn't, doesn't need it. That's why I didn't it's order got two mounts. There's a mount there and a mount there. That's all you need. You don't need the, the fender bolts. Matt. That's like a leg maker, so please. Ah, uh, Matt, Fick, Matt Fick hack? Fick, Fick hack? How do you say it? The janitor over at uh, Moe's. <laughs> now, what we do is remo we remove this and install a new one. He did that video so He's calmly. a smooth fella, bro. So calm, Dude, man. he owns Moe's. He's smooth. And here we are breaking shit. Yeah. <laughs> Tune Rams over here getting angry and breaking shit. <laughs> we got a pile of no goodness over here. It's angry. Sad. Just because we're from Boston, dude. We're angry. Always angry. Hi, uh, we pay too much in taxes, man. Yeah, That's we why do. we're angry. Oh, I make $100,000 a year. No, you don't. You only take it home $10,000 because you were in Massachusetts. UPS dude over there. What's up? What's up? You stealing my shit? What's up? No pots? Don't touch the wife's Durango. Where's he going? Ah, oh, damn, she's sexy. Oh, I love this truck. We actually got to replace these more remotes soon. Those are being replaced. I have the box over here. Well, don't forget, when I first got here, we left for a little bit. There's the new Morimoto's. Those are going in. That's going to be a separate video. Mopar, baby. That cock shot, right? Loading up a tune? Mm-hmm. Is that a touch screen? No. 160. All right. 160 thermostat. Do it. Let her rip tater chip. Do it for Dale, baby. Ready? Do it for Dale! So you put the green face and tune in, right? 160 thermostat tune. Let everybody know what kind of, uh, what do you that, Trinity? Trinity T2. T2. Platinum. I use the I2 still. I like to watch everything. They're glitchy, they take forever. They do. HP they do. tuners is the way to go. Oh my god. <laughs> We're gonna go HP tuners eventually. Horrible. Yeah, the Diablo takes forever. But it works, it works. You know what I mean? If you're tuning every day, you, you want HP. For sure. Alright, we're gonna top this off. Wait till the thermostat opens up at 160 degrees. You're already at 115? Yeah. Sounds good. It does, it's not quiet. Yeah, really quiet. Nice looking truck. Where'd you get those headlights? Alpha Rex. And what about the fogs? Updated LED or? I just did LED. It's uh, ox beam LEDs. What are they? Ox beam. Ox beam? These are off of eBay? No, they're on Amazon. Oh, you can choose how many beams you got? A little pricey, yeah. Go to double. Ah, no kidding. LEDs in the headlights, HIDs in the low. I'm going to get rid of those HIDs. Wait a minute, HID low beam? Yeah. And LED high beam? Yeah. That's that's weird. But it works. Looks good. Oh yeah, I see the difference now. Nice. You see how it's steaming? Which attempts at right now? Check the temps. 
Clutch fan delete. Show me some muscle, bro. Till next time. <laughs>